Well, in this lecture, we are going to look at rhetoric. Rhetoric is the art of speaking well. It's seen in speeches of great people like Churchill, Kennedy, and Martin Luther King, and almost all great leaders spend a lot of time trying to have a phrase that stays in the <coughs> listener's mind for a long, long time. For example, the economist John Maynard Keynes said, if you owe your banker a thousand pounds, you are at his mercy. But if you owe your banker a million pounds, he's at your mercy. So that's kind of true. We can have a rhetoric example with puns also. This is by Vijay Malia, author of Theory of Borrowing. And it is said that he said, It is neither in a principle to pay interest, nor it is in an interest to pay the principal. He's the one who has a couple of billion dollars in loan, which he didn't pay back. So let's look at more examples. What's a rhetorical question? It's a question that is asked for effect. It has no answer, and the answer is actually built in. For example, you can uh, Anu says, "Who here does not want to study?" Vijay says, "Am I a fool to waste my time?" You go online and Google, you'll find a lot of examples. And there is a reverse psychology. The conclusion is the opposite of the expectation set at the beginning. For example, in Julius Caesar play by Shakespeare, Antony praises Julius Caesar indirectly after his death. But he starts the line with, I come here to bury Caesar, not to praise him. And then everyone who's listening thinks that, okay, this guy is going to give a regular speech, but then eventually starts praising Caesar. So that's an example of a reverse psychology. And it, it can be quite extreme. In these examples, Anu says, I don't like Sanjay, he's always sleepy. Now, Bina uh, wants to praise Sanjay, but she agrees with Anu. She says, yes, Sanjay is a bad boy. He stays up late to study after cooking for his family. So, she's actually praising Sanjay, but acting like she's actually agreeing with Anu. Interview is a common example from interview. What are your bad habits, Jack? I work so hard that I forget to go home on time. And then Katy adds, and I'm a bad girl. I secretly donate all my money to the poor, and I'm too modest to praise myself. Okay? So there are more examples from politics. Anu says, our minister is a great man. During the floods, he prayed for the victim day and night at home till, he, uh, till the flood ended. God heard his prayers. Biju, during the famine, when the children were hungry, he vowed not to eat two cups of ice cream daily. Is it really praising or not praising? We're not sure. KT said, he made his servants donate their salaries to his relief fund. Well, that's kind of true out here. And then we look at reverse psychology. This is taken from Google Images, but you can find a lot of them on internet. Or you make up your own example. And you see, do not press written on a switch. And wet paint, and people are touching to see what happens. And this guy says, market strictly confidential. I want everybody to read it. And then there's Calvin and Hobbes. And Calvin, this guy is Calvin, and holds his tiger toy. He says, Dear Santa, this year I don't want any gifts. I just want love and peace for my fellow men. And then he says, Reverse psychology. This tiger is saying, Kind of risky, don't you think? Okay, that's it.